Welcome, I am John Lira, and in this demo, I want to focus on the Informatica Power Center store procedure. It's the PX here. Let me just click on it and create one in this partial mapping that I have. Notice that the first thing it is asking me is to connect to my schema, which I'm going to do, L2 ODS. And if I go inside, I have a procedure and, in, and I have a Oracle stored function here. Now, warning. Uh, every database may have its own way of handling store procedures or functions, so I encourage you to read the reference material. I'm using Oracle, so therefore this demo is geared to work with an Oracle database. Now, notice that that was a store procedure for it. Before I build this mapping to include it, let me show you that in Oracle that I already have a store procedure, actually a function here, and remember that all your testing all your troubleshooting, or your validation to make sure that these procedures and functions work is external to Power Center. So when I created this function, it, I tested it and made sure that it works. And here is a simple way, let's look at it. It's a very simple function. It's called get employee name, and it's gonna receive an ID number, and it's gonna output a var char, and so it's gonna return the var char, and also it's gonna select the last name into, select the last name into the OTVAR from the OD, ODS employee data table. So from the ODS employee data table where the employee ID is equal to the receiving N ID. So where employee ID from the database is equal to the argument that I send it and it's going to return success and also the value itself. So remember all this was previously tested to work and now with that I'm going to go to create the store procedure. There are two ways. One, as I showed you a few moments ago, go ahead and bring it in, but there's an easier way that I like. Under transformations, you can go to import the store procedure, and I like this because it actually creates it with the appropriate ports. So I'm gonna to connect to the same schema, and it's gonna connect, and I'm gonna select the function the get employee name function, and you're going to notice that it will create the ports for me. So here's functions, get it, and voila, you'll see that the transformation along with the ports will be created. So there it is. So what am I, what am I doing here? Let's see, let me arrange all icon, put in the appropriate, and just so you can see what kind of data. What I'm, I'm reading ODS employee data, it's a database, and what I want is where the filter condition where the employee ID equals 86437 so where the employee ID is this number I want you to give me the employee's last name that's it let me open the store procedure notice the arguments they're there already so there goes the arguments so the incoming employee ID that's going to be sent to the store procedure and the return values now all I need is a target so let's, let me quickly create a target for this. I'm going to add, this is a trick I showed you in another demo. Instead of going to target designer and creating the target from a mapping, I should be able to right mouse click and say create or add a target. So here it is, notice, and it created a clone target of this. And now all I merely, all I, all I merely have to do is connect the return value and, and the output value. And there it is. And I believe, unless you notice something that I forgot, I believe that's it. I'm going to control S to validate and save. And now I'm going to quickly go to a workflow. And in this workflow, what I'm going to do is just quickly create a workflow, WK demo. And I'm going to call it store procedure, dem demo store procedure. And again, this part is, oops, there's one already so, uh, exists, so I already have one. So let me quickly go into it. Oops, there it is. I do have one already called that. So let me just drag it over here and open it. There it is. And let me check, make sure that the sessions are correct. It's going to read it from an ODS table and it's going to write out to a relation node, but I want a file. So I'm going to switch this, make it a flat file. And I'm going to say that I want the output field names and the file name just so that we can get this faster. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna leave it get employee name, but I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put SP demo so we can quickly check it out. And I'm gonna make it 
text. Okay, so there it is. Now, Control S to save. And unless I made a mistake, I should be okay. Well, I better check something. Remember that the store procedure is a database connection. So I went back into the session to make sure that get employee name is using a database connection. It is, it's using dollar target, so I have two ways of setting it, either from the connections, and there it is, it's already set to ODS, or I could have actually just done it this way also, just two ways of doing the same thing. Let me do it this way since you saw the other way, and apply, and I'm gonna run this, crossing your fingers, making sure that I did not make a mistake, and let me just expand this so we can see it. And there goes the store procedure right there. It's running and it should succeed. And then we'll quickly run and check the file. So there it is, succeeded. And let me go to the InfoShare L2. And what I want in this case is uh, not a source file, but a target. And somewhere in here, we'll quickly see my name. Here it is, the get employee name SP demo and I'm just going to quickly edit this. Here's a return value with column, success, and somewhere in here, remember this is 4,000 characters, I should have made it shorter. Here is the output variable, Mendez. So that is employee ID, and Mendez is the last name. Oh, isn't that fun? So that is how store procedures work. Of course, I use a simple demo. You may create more elaborate ones. Thank you.